Hey, how you doing today? My name is Relia, and thank you so much for stopping by. Today we are playing Hollow Knight, and I'm going to show you the seven different locations to find Mr. Mushroom. Once you find all seven different locations, this is going to open up the Passage of Time achievement, and you're going to get a secret cutscene at the very end of the game. In order to get Mr. Mushroom to appear in Hollow Knight, the first thing you need to do is defeat all three dreamers. After that, you're going to need the Spore Shroom equipped in order to be able to talk to Mr. Mushroom. So once you have all three dreamers defeated, the first thing you're going to need is a Spore Shroom. I'm going to show you where to find the Spore Shroom. So starting right here, just outside the Queen Station, we're going to make our way to the room directly below the Queen Station. So we're going to head up. From here, we're going to head to the right and then down. Drop in here. Again, the map, we're going to drop down. Again, here's the map. Keep going to the left and down. Watch out for the acid in this room. Unless you have Isthmus tier, then you don't have to worry about it. Again, here's a map. We're going to go to the next room to the left, and that's where the spore shroom is. So from here, you're going to bounce around. Unless you don't need to. You do not need Isthmus tier to be able to get this. And right here, you're going to find the Spore Shroom. So next, what we're going to do is go ahead and find Mr. Mushroom for the first time. If you don't already have the Spore Shroom equipped, head back over to the Queen Station. All right, so from the Queen Station, we're going to go ahead and equip the Spore Shroom charm. And now we're going to make our way to the right. The first Mr. Mushroom location is actually in the Fungal Waste and super close by. All right, so here we are on the map. We're gonna make our way right and down again. Kinda close to where we were before. And so this is the same location that we'd normally find Cornifer, and here's Mr. Mushroom. Give him a little smack. And then you can talk to him. And it seems like Mr. Mushroom is talking to somebody else, but it's really hard to tell who exactly it is that he's talking to. It's just kind of interesting. And once you're done talking to Mr. Mushroom, he will disappear and he's going to head off to the second location. For the second Mr. Mushroom location, we are going to make our way over to the palace grounds using the hidden station. And then we're going to make our way up to the tram. So here we're in the Ancient Basin, so here we are on the map, and again we're going to make our way straight up to the tram. If you don't have the tram pass, go ahead and look in the description of this video. I will make sure to leave a link to that video. So we just went straight up, and again we are at the tram, we're going to head over to the right. So from the tram station, we'll make our way over to the right, and as you can see, this is where we are on the map. We're going to keep going towards the hive, but we're not actually going to go into the hive. So that right there is the entrance to the hive, but we're going to go up. So here we are, and we're going to keep going up. And right here is Mr. Mushroom. Same thing, give him a little smack. Shouldn't trust the eye they give you. Rely on your own instincts. If you've got a king nose, use it. And while you're hunting for secrets, beware of those who are hunting you. See, I'm confused. I don't know who he's talking to, but it's interesting. So next, let's go ahead and find Mr. Mushroom in his third location. So go ahead and make your way back over to the tram. Again, here we are on the map. 
and this time we're going to head all the way to the left, so we're going to go left twice. So from here to find the third Mr. Mushroom, we're going to have to head deep, deep into Deep Nest. So make your way around all these Garpedes. Over to the left. And here's the map. We're going to make our way to the bench and then up to the second bench. There we go. Get the soul as much as you need and keep going. So you are going to want the Loomfly Lantern for this one. From this room, we're going to make our way all the way up to the next bench. And here's the map again. We're going to keep going up and to the right. And keep coming up. Again, here's the map. Keep going up. Once you see that bench sign, it's like, ah, the bench is close. It feels good. It feels real good. Get me out of there. Okay. So we made our way all the way to the bench. We're going to make our way one room to the left and then drop down. We're going to go back in, but that last part was harder for sure. All right. So from here, we're going to drop down into here. Watch out for the spikes. We're going to make our way all the way to the left of this room. So here we are on the map. We're going to drop down and hug that left wall. Keep going, keep going. And right here. It kind of looks like a fungal area, and this is where we want to be. And again, here's the map. We're going to keep going all the way to the left of this room. Kind of a cool area. Check this out. This is a dream warrior, but I think the area just looks really cool too. And here we found the third Mr. Mushroom. I love that animation when he turns around too. The dead can't make us of wealth in any case. What would they spend it on? Yes, a big brood like that. They need food and shelter and toys. If you keep some for yourself, well, I think you deserve it. Yes. Like, who is he? I want to know who he's talking to. It's so interesting. The fourth Mr. Mushroom is at the very top of the Howling Cliffs, and it's going to be really close to this bench. The quickest way to get here is to use the Stag Nest Station. The only way to get to the Stag Nest Station is if you've actually been to every other station in the game, and then you talk to the stag. He will then show you where the Stag Nest is. If you don't know where every stag station in the game is, I will go ahead and make a video on all the stag stations here in a little bit. We're going to make our way up and out. So here we are on the map at the very top of the Howling Cliffs. Go ahead and drop down. Here's a Dream Warrior. Again, here's the map. We're going to keep going down towards the bench. So here's the bench. And just past the Nail Master, here is our fourth Mr. Mushroom. 
What was called a hero in its moment may be called something very different after time has passed. The crimes and triumphs of our predecessors echo all around us, don't they? The chains of fate that bind us all together. Do you really want to break them? Oh, excuse me. And he's off. For the fifth Mr. Mushroom, we're going to head back over to the hidden station and all the way to the left again. Here we are in the ancient basin, and we're going to make our way all the way to the left, very close to where we found the broken vessel. So just make your way to the left. So you can either crystal heart across this way, or you can nail bounce either way. I like to call it pogoing. Nail pogo. Pogoing? Again, here we are on the map. We're going to make our way all the way to the left. So you will have to have defeated the broken vessel to press on. And from this room, here we are on the map. We're going to drop down just a little bit. And here is Mr. Mushroom. Well, if things are getting too dangerous down there, maybe it's time to take a break. Come back up and spend some time hunting or gathering or wandering aimlessly. Not too much longer now. Oh, excuse me. The sixth Mr. Mushroom can be found just outside of the Queen's Gardens. We're going to make our way over to the Fog Canyon. So here we are on the map right here. We're going to make our way straight up and then to the right. Once you make your way up, head over here. And then we're going to drop down just a hair and then to the right. We're going to keep going until we can head up. Right here. So now in this room, it is going to be on the left wall. Right here. I haven't seen her, no. I'm sure you'll remember when you left her eventually. Trust me, Moon. Or yourself. Or trust her. You need to trust something. That's my point. Hmm? No, not him. No, absolutely not. Excuse me. The seventh and final Mr. Mushroom can be found right outside of Dirtmouth. We're going to make our way over into the starting area of the game in King's Pass. Make your way all the way to the left. And then head on up. From here, we're going to drop straight down. And here's the map. We're going to keep going all the way to the right and all the way directly below where we are now. And here's Mr. Mushroom for the seventh and final time. Let's see what he has to say. It's not by tools that you'll triumph. It's through your smarts, your speed, your determination. Oh, I see. So you've been following me around then. I hope my travels haven't confused your own, distracted you. Then again, a meander journey still has meaning. It is, after all, from a journey we find our purpose. Through a stop is more than just a stop. And my, if those stops can't be lovely things, wouldn't you say? Transcendent plateaus, distant sandy lands, vast ancient kingdoms. Yours was not the first, nor will it be the last, but it's a unique and special thing nonetheless. Is that a hint at Silk Song?
Was that in the game from the very beginning? Now, with my duties here finished, it is time I made graceful departure. Till next time, my friend, tis a long road we tread, but a joyous one. Whoa! Until our paths cross again. Where did he go? Oh, this is the very, very beginning of the game. I mean, this is where you drop in, and that's where he left. Interesting. So at this point, you've already defeated the three dreamers. Once you make your way in here and you beat the game, you will now have that extra special cutscene that you didn't have before. So from here, I want you to press on, beat the game, and let me know what you think of the Mr. Mushroom final cutscene. What do you think it means? What do you think we're going to get from him in the future? Do you think we'll see him in the Silk Song game? If you enjoyed this Hollow Knight tutorial video, be sure to subscribe for even more tips, tricks, and how-tos. Again, my name is Relia. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I will talk to you again more soon.